This is TomorrowPictures.tv. I didn't breathe. George Floyd. Uh, I'm going to in Washington, D.C. We're going to do something that uh, people have to see before. In the brief span of 30 odd years, the world has seen an inventor's dream. This is no simple reform. Freedom and human dignity. It really is a revolution. You could ask yourself a question. Teach you how to kill. Do I feel lucky? We're like the stupid people. Far more powerful than anything man has yet devised. Inspiration and hope. Life is visceral. Tearing down that wall. Buy a man for a man. Because we had stupid politicians doing stupid things. Let's get this straight. The United States. Enough on his life. and boldly. Stupid. Well, I I don't like to get wrapped up in the whole religious thing, but it it actually does say in the Bible. I, I my coworker told me this that. Uh, something about the world ending when you can't tell the seasons apart or something like that now I'm not saying like you know like the world's going to end or anything but a lot of bad things are happening because we can't you know tell the seasons apart it's just we can't like the it's snowing in the middle of April kind of thing like we can't have that continuously happen and to deny it I mean we're pumping dangerous chemical into the air consistently but we won't have these chemicals in our houses why would we want them in the place that we stand and and we walk and we work and we talk and we love it doesn't make sense to me I mean I'm pretty healthy right now I think it's a big issue it's just hard to get related to it but I think his health care issue is ridiculous well, actually I don't think his plan to dissolve the borders is so ridiculous I think the fact that that's his only plan is stupid so I think it's two companies per state or something like that and they can't cross state borders his plan is to dissolve the state borders so that you can have more competition across the nation do you have any problems being in crowds like this uh, feeling unsafe because of terrorism issues no I, I don't really have that problem. I know that there are a lot more American on American killings that happen within the country. Um, I think that terrorism is being hyped up to be something that is much more of a, um, you know, a scare tactic than it really is an issue and I care more about the people's concerns from one, one day to the next and not really concerned about outside terrorism. Well, with all the industries, there's so many fossil fuels being emitted into our atmosphere. We need to make sure we do decrease the amount of fossil fuels and make sure we protect the environment. Donald Trump doesn't want to do that. He thinks it's not. He doesn't believe in global warming, probably. I don't know. He doesn't care about the environment. They can't just continue to ignore the issues surrounding us. If our planet is going to keep getting warmer and warmer and polar bears are going to keep dying and then it's soon going to keep spreading and spreading and no one's going to be able to live here anymore. So, I mean, do you care about your grandchildren? Well, we were just talking about how we don't support the university allowing Donald Trump to talk to speak here because even though it's not a direct use of our tuition dollars, like they sent us an email telling us that, um, I, it, it's still a representation of the university that we go to, and because that he's speaking at our university, he is spreading like the hate that he has said in his earlier like campaign speeches and all of that, like um, like supporting a Muslim travel ban and stuff like that. So I don't agree with the university allowing him to come here because it looks like it's sending a message even though they're saying that it's not. It still does send a message at the university we go to. Do you have exams next week? Uh, I do, yes. Got another concern of yours taking time from your studying? Uh, yes, it is. I, I, yeah, no, I, I, definitely, I definitely do my studying. So his, he says it will create more competition, drive prices down. Although what we've seen time and time again is that that will create a monopoly. One company will rise up and just jack prices up once they get control. What we need to do is go back to Teddy Roosevelt days, get the trust buster up in here, and bust it up so that there's more competition that we can't have monopoly. And he clearly doesn't foresee that in any way, shape, or form. Uh, tonight we'd like to say a uh, special thanks. We don't have much time to thank everybody, and especially to our friends in the business and to our wonderful friends here and all of you out there for your great loyalty. Justice will be served. I would simply like to say that I think this has been one of the great days of America.